All right, Crypto Millennial here. Today I've got a short and sweet video for you on revoking smart contract access on the Avalanche blockchain. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, why it's good practice to do it, and what exactly revoking access means. How does a contract gain access then? So when you swap, mint, stake, or interact with a farm or a liquidity pool, you as the user are required to grant access to that smart contract. Essentially, what you're doing is giving them permission to utilize your assets. When you grant permission to the contract, then you could be allowing one token or an infinite amount of tokens to be moved by that specific address. To help you save transaction fees, it's common for popular DEXs to build in an infinite amount, like Trader Joe and other chains will build this in because it helps you save transaction fees because you don't have to keep confirming over and over and granting permissions. If we use an example then to really drill home this point, if I gave permission to a contract to spend infinite amount of my avalanche, straightforward, they have permission to spend that amount. Ideally they wouldn't and it would be a reputable contract. However, if the contract was upgraded or fell into the wrong hands or was malicious, those bad actors could steal my tokens because I have given them approval to spend that amount. So this is where it's really important to understand exactly what you've granted access to at a smart contract level. Lastly, and very importantly then, before I show you exactly how to revoke access, it's a common misconception that disconnecting MetaMask is the same as revoking access. I just want to be very clear that disconnecting your MetaMask from dApps or websites is not the same. This is front end stuff. Revoking is back end and focuses on the mechanics like the smart contracts that works in the background that you don't really see. Now what we're going to do is revoke permission on Snowtrace. The final part then is for me to show you exactly how to revoke access on the Avalanche blockchain. So go on to snowtrace.io. I'll leave the link in the YouTube description, but if you wanna find it yourself, go on the official Twitter, make sure you're on snowtrace.io. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go on more and go on token approvals. Then it will come up with a search bar for your address, paste in your C chain address, search, and it will bring up your wallet and show you exactly how many approved contracts you've got, who the approved spender is, and what the amount is, and when the contract was updated from your end. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click this connect to web free button, click your wallet of choice, next, connect, connect to web free one more time, okay. You can now see that's gone green and your wallet's connected. What will now pop up is that these will change red, which means you're able to revoke access. So we're just gonna pick the top one, we're gonna click this button, we're gonna hit revoke. MetaMask is gonna pop up, we're gonna confirm, and we're just gonna wait. So we've waited for the transaction to confirm in my MetaMask. I'm now confident that that's revoked. If I refresh, I can now see my wallet that that transaction has changed and disappeared so it no longer has access. I've only got three out of the four that I previously had. That's everything from me then. I hope you understand now exactly what revoking access is, why it's important and how you can protect yourself. If just one person takes from this some understanding on extra security, clearing out those malicious contracts, then in my opinion, it's been worthwhile. You need to be safe out there and doing everything that you can to protect your funds. If you like the video, leave a comment, let me know what your thoughts are, give me a like, share it with your network. I really appreciate the support I'm getting and I'm enjoying making these videos and there's lots more to come. So yeah, that's everything from me. Speak to you soon.